All right, we're showing some kind of connection, but it's not good. Hmm. Let's give that a moment and see if it stabilizes at any point. All right, we're back. Technically. Hopefully it stays that way. All right. Very annoying. But they can't see anything wrong with our connection. Man, this is now split up into three parts. So that's fun. Alright, let's take out these roaches. I don't even know if we can call them an ISP right now. Because they are not providing us internet service, at least not at any reasonable rate. Alright, where was I going? Uh, three just to the south? Maybe? Anyone really like an ISP or just tolerate some of them? I mean, when I was when I lived in Canada, we never had problems like this, and the internet cost less than half as much. It's amazing just how bad internet service is in this country. One of the richest countries in the world. There's no real excuse for this behavior. Service this bad, I think, would have caused a, a, a fucking government investigation in Canada. Or any real first world country. Yeah, I said it. Alright, we're losing frames again. About to just call it as soon as we reach threed. Hey, B. We're having troubles. Alright, we're back to about what the connection was like when we started. So that's not good, but it's semi-functional. And it's better than it just disconnecting entirely. We claim to be capitalist because it reduces costs through competition, but then we have telecom monopolies because they're more efficient. Yes, it's stupid. It's incredibly stupid. Come on, don't di don't go to zero connection. Oh, there it goes. Keep walking. Gonna get to three. It's all gonna be fixed. Yeah, I was literally just talking about that B. If the stream stops, just refresh. There's nothing I can do about it from here. Unfortunately, it's rarely this bad for several days in a row, so tomorrow it'll hopefully be better.
Alright, almost back to three. If anyone at Cox watches our streams and you're seeing this stuff, please, please talk to the person above you in the company. Because someone who probably has more power in the company than you do, is fucking up really bad. If it's not, it's just Crypt World, so the frame problems will seem like part of the experience. There you go. I'd just like to say that any accusation that I am bad luck will- Oh no, this was happening long before you showed up. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks. Peace. Love. <laughs> I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? Alrighty. Wait, is that... Is that Rhine? Is that Rhine from Xenoblade as a child? Alrighty! Threed is a great town name. The third best, in fact. Well, now it seems to be back to better because it's been several minutes without dropping any frames. So we're just having bursts of really, really bad packet loss. And then as I say that, it fucks off. That's amazing. That is absolutely incredible. All right, let's get out of this graveyard if I can remember how. All right, southeast. If they'd known loud music would scare off the ghosts, they could have evacuated the town. ESB, I, uh, I saw that. It was amazing. Kept a JVC kaboom boxes on notable street corners. There you go. That's a, that's a hell of an idea. Oh, right, before I forget, I've got to go to the hospital here, don't I, for an insignificant item. Good morning, the pride of the Threed publishing community, the Threed Journal is back with a vengeance. Zombies vanquished, tunnel now open. Yes, picked up the receiver. Alright, checking the uh, preview to make sure I'm not losing my connection on the other end. Alright. So let's head over to the hospital and get ourselves an insignificant item. Hospital is southeast, past the circus tent. To the alley. Just realized why three is such a difficulty spike. The power of being third. That's true. The third best, the third strongest of the moles has taught us that. That's... that's coming shortly. Alright, which room was this in?
There was an insignificant item in the drawer. Ness got the insignificant item. Isn't that wonderful? Now we're gonna head back to Tucson to deliver this. Where is that bus stop? Yes, it is just called an insignificant item. Isn't that amazing? Anyone remember where the bus stop is? Shit. No pitching of tents allowed in this area without permission. How's everyone's months going? That's a good question. So far, so good, you know? Eed! That's a good sign. Oh, right. There is no sidewalk, that's just grass. Just ate some remaindered Valentine's candy, so good. I haven't done that yet, but I probably should. Six dollars, yes. Off to Tucson. Which is better about the insignificant item? It's help text or the use text? Oh right, I should do that before I return it. But we get a very nice uh, MP item for returning it. Hell yeah, bus time! Some of the best music in the game right there. And that's saying a lot. Alright, we're just heading all the way up to the northeast side of town. By using the insignificant present, you had a very fruitful experience that cannot be understood by someone who does not use something insignificant. Insignificant item. It doesn't look like it would do much of anything, but... I also love the wonderfully farty brass town music. If you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. Hi, Venus. My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using a stage name. Vain... Vain some... She's working hard. There's a lot of NPCs that people never see in this game. So it's nice to just catch some extra dialogue here and there. Oh, that's the Hintmeister. Yeah, there's very few games with as many bangers as Earthbound. Is this the guy? No, that's the healer. The guy we're looking for is upstairs. I think. Terry Hints! Right, from Lisa. You look healthy, but you spend a lot of time at the hospital. My story's the same. You want to hear it again? Yes. Okay, you asked for it. Ready? I wanted to see the circus in Threed the next town over, but I hurt my leg in the Peaceful Rest Valley.
My friend who joined the Happy Happy Religion came to see me a while ago. We've become friends again. Well, isn't that nice? Amazing how much dialogue they put in this game that's just entertaining rather than useful, for certain. This is the guy. I'm in perfect tip-top health now. I just wish I had more visitors. Cough, hack, hack, cough. Thank you! You've made me so happy! After my life, this is the second most important thing to me! Because you're so kind, I want to give you this magic truffle! It's a souvenir from Scaraba. Nescoth the magic truffle. Now, if I had talked to him before the before clearing Happy Happy Valley, he actually would have told me he lost something insignificant. So that's not a total, like, out of nowhere thing. Though it is something you're unlikely to find if you're not looking for it. Alright, so now I believe we've got to take the bus back through three, or back to three, and then on through the desert. I find you entertaining, B. You make many good jokes. And bad jokes. And useful's a relative term, honestly. Wow, if you don't pay six dollars for the fare, I can't take you there. That is like the biggest asshole way you could possibly put that. Right, it's time for another mole playing rough, isn't it? Which you can skip and screw the whole thing up. <laughs> Depends on the relative, alright. Yeah, six dollars for a multi-city fare is a pretty good deal. <laughs> oh my god, it does say Greyhand Bus. That had never parsed. That's amazing. <laughs> this bus continues on the foreside. Do you want to get off here? That guy's just standing in the road. Lucky he didn't get run over. Six bucks is cheap for a lot of things, that's true. Nowadays you can barely get a piece of candy for six bucks. And here we are, at the ass end of the world's longest traffic jam. Man, it's bumper to bumper! My job's to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around the desert. Hey, it's a free country! Now, something that was only recently discovered is that you can't be affected by sunstroke here. And there's actually a reason for that, and it's a particular tag that says whether you can or can't be affected by stuff, by status ailments on the world map, which includes death. And that leads to a whole different thing, specifically the game just going black when you die, but not actually killing you. And that's why that mole playing rough is there, because getting into a fight is a workaround to automatically turn that tag off so that those things can, uh, were on, but so that status can work on you again. And you can get sunstroke in the desert after getting into the fight with a mole playing rough. One of my mom's co-workers once paid six dollars for a watermelon. Another co-worker asked, why would you pay six dollars for a watermelon? And he answered, because I had six dollars and wanted a watermelon. That's a good reason. 
But yeah, that's the mole playing rough. He is there as a cheap workaround, and I love it so much. He has a 100% spawn rate on his plate. Alright, what do we have here? Wet towels. Those are handy. Alright, let's get the deluxe fry pan. It's at the other store, right? First, let's pull some money. <laughs> Withdraw. Just withdraw it all for now. Oops. Um, I did that wrong, huh? 1,200... 65... Or 63... 5. That's how you say that number. For the crispiest crispy chip, I recommend Dirty's Potato Chips. I'm not paid to say that. Another interesting tidbit, the wet towel is supposed to cure sunstroke, but it actually has the same effect as healing alpha. That is correct. Which is why I don't bother to buy them. Because healing alpha can cure sunstroke. Let's get the Mr. Baseball Bat! There we go, 89 and better accuracy. Deluxe fry pan is actually worthwhile simply for the accuracy buff, even though it's slightly weaker than the uh, slingshot. Certainly, I've found it more useful in the past. We don't have those here, I don't think. We got zaps and hers. I, I don't see zaps very often, but the ones we got at the Dollar Tree were pretty good. Hers are okay. They have this weird habit of either putting too much or too little on their chips, though. And another coin of slumber? Why not? It's stronger than what she currently has. Which is the red ribbon. I don't remember if the red ribbon has a special effect or not. Cold Remedy only cures colds, but the wet towel can cure cold, sunstroke, and crying. I mean, that's actually, you know, realistic. I use wet towels to uh, help with cold, sunstroke, and crying. So, uh, in the end, even if it's a mistake, it makes perfect sense. Does the red ribbon have a special effect that I should keep it over getting her a sleep coin? Red Ribbon is just armor. Alright, I thought so. So the Sleep Coin is better. That's all for equipment. See, the Refreshing Herbs cure poison, certainly. Uh, may as well grab a couple of them, because there is a lot of poison out here. Shouldn't need a ton, though. Thought I gave you immunity to all status effects. No, that's a regular ribbon. Also, if you wear the red ribbon too long, you may have to fight Goku. Ouch! See, I giggled at Christie's, but yours, yours hurt, Bad Road. Red Ribbon, more like Rad Ribbon. Ah. Uh, I think that's it. $110 a night. Let's see if Jeff can repair something. Nope. Means go to deposit everything. 
I don't think there's any other shops. Oops. Which means we can just deposit everything. Because the next shop has a ATM in it. One, zero, two, seven, seven. And save and continue. at least one food item, but I think I've got a couple, so. And let's activate world map status effects. The shop is made of logs. Yes, it is. Here is the mole playing rough. It's possible to actually dodge him by stutter stepping past him. And then you don't have to worry about sunstroke, but it causes other problems. It's a monkey! Welcome! Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. I don't think we need to go in there just yet. Right? I do not remember how it works. Jeff will 100% fix the first thing he tries. After 100% fix, he has a 25% chance to fix stuff until he succeeds, then it's 100% for the next one, assuming he has the IQ for it. See, I didn't know those are precise odds. Now, I believe we should go to the miner's shack before exploring these caves. Fuck you, Mobile Sprout. You ain't so tough. So let's head over to the miner's shack first. I don't think you can't. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Oh no, it's a Scropion. Talarama's in the way and won't talk to you. All right. I knew it was something like that. Ooh, shit. Not fair. It's fine, he didn't do that much damage after all. Never explore caves without telling somebody first. I mean, that's... that's good advice. Not gonna lie. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Ooh. Now, the buffalo are extremely dangerous. That's why they're called bad buffalo. Thunder works if you have all four characters and the bear. Well, it chooses a random target. So I'm not 100% sure of that. Take that, Desert Wolf. You shit. Level 30. Offense up 2. HP up 1. PP up 2. 28. Offense up 3. Defense up 1. Speed up 2. Vitality up 1. Oh baby, IQ up 3, HP up 10, max PP up 13. That's good stuff.
Big bottle rocket. Excellent. Here we are. Dusty Dunes headquarters for finding buried gold. This hole's great! Good hole, good hole, good hole. Foist! Somebody asked me to dig for buried gold! I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. Got any food you can spare? Seems like you got a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? Um, let's see. Don't want to give him the life noodles. I want to give him the jar of fly honey. He can have this croissant. Thank you. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. Aw, that's great. He just wants to find it. He doesn't care about striking it rich. Hey, wait a second. All right. He'll take the life noodles. It's technically not food. That's interesting. Where are the slot machine brothers? Here they are. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Yes, you have no bucks. I know that there's a fucking present around here somewhere. You don't like the weird radio noises? I kind of enjoy them. I find them a bit soothing. Alright, I could have sworn there was a present around here. And it had like... a thousand dollars? Am I remembering that wrong? Or am I just not going far enough? Oh, there it is. Uh, the radio noise is always playing this. I believe they're part of the music track. Now, if we go back a little further this way, we will find that... The traffic jam's cleared up. Don't worry, we're not gonna be here much longer. I'm gonna play the slot machine a few times and then continue on. Seven. Bell seven. Aww. You can get uh, PK caramels. You can get. I don't remember if there's money or. There's a few decent things you can get here, though. So we'll just play it a couple times and then continue on. Though right now we're not having a lot of luck. Frisbee, what are you doing? Chow's being grumbly. Oh, 
All right, one more try. If you talk to them, they introduce themselves. Yes, they do. However, I was just going to wait until I finished playing. I'm Big Brother Poncho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. And I'm Thomas Jefferson. You know, just so you know. Their dialogue advances RNG, so you can't rig them that way. <laughs> Alright. Radio sounds are gone, B. I apologize that took as long as it did. It's Tomas Jefferson. Ah, gotcha. Now I've got awesome uh, road walking music. Chick, PK Caramel, Skip Sandwich, Can of Fruit Juice. The, yeah, the PK Caramel and the Chick are the only things worthwhile. And the Chick barely so at this point. And now, the trippy diagonal streets. I now want a Tomas Jefferson skin for the mother characters in Smash. <laughs> oh shit. Remember these motherfuckers? I am not a mad taxi, I am an angry taxi. taxi it's a crazy taxi oh that's excellent all right I believe we've just got to get to the theater first of all this place is trippy as shit just because of the diagonal angle and here's the Topola Theater. Topoya Theater? Don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Do you want to buy a ticket? Yes. 30 bucks, please. No. Please have your tickets ready. Damn. I have my tickets ready, you ass. The show will be starting any moment. Never heard diagonals described as trippy before. I mean, in this game, when you've gotten used to everything being at a certain angle. It's Apollo with a spare tea thrown in for flavor. Ah! That's good. Tapala. Ness arrives, the Runaway Five told me to let him in, so please come in. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. To meet Geldegard Monitoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why, it's just a hunch. Uh, we know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do wop do the wop! Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We're so helpless. Really helpless. And hopeless. <laughs> a 
I think I just shocked Gaston awake and now he's freaking out. Poor baby. Poor baby. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Kaboom! The Runaway 5! Yeah! 3, 2, 1, etc. Go! So what you're saying is the Runaway 5 are the original Rowdy 3. Really? A phone call? Now? Hello, oh, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Shut up, dad. Alright, now... We owe you guys so much. All right, so now we got to go see the uh, the owner of the theater and see if we can sort this out. Oh, seriously? The show's playing again? Well, that's... Interesting. Yeah, keyboard guy doesn't show up in the uh, dressing room, but I believe it's the same keyboard guy at each performance. Which makes the whole thing just kind of strange. But I don't think I can dance that way? Alright, so don't go in there again. Just find the manager who is in the office. So you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me. No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold, or you'd never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho. Alright. Let's go to the Zool building. I mean, the Monotoli building. Oh, hi.
There's the dinosaur museum. We'll be taking a look at that later. Monotoli building. Shit. Oh, right, it's that one that looks like the Empire State Building. I don't get it. I heard a guy who looks like Monotoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place. I heard he quietly goes in and out. What a weirdo! Look, it's a it's 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 the police. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? Did you just misgender Paula? What a dick. If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? <laughs> Already checked out your name. Seriously. Creepy. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monitoli building? Yeah, babyface. This elevator's only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? What? And then we go up anyway. Seriously, how does this kid keep getting ahead? Whoops. I was almost gonna beat you up. Your friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Rude. This fucking kid. And yes, his face is just two curved lines making a circle. He's basically the Pepsi logo. Ooh la la! This... This is my poor old... I don't remember the voice I did for Pokey. Fuck. This is my poor old friend. Uh, what, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no, Ness. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la, don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey. Get it? I'm now Gildegard Monotoli's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here, now, loser. This fucking kid. Is Pokey related to Pepsi Man? I think so, yes. The difference is, Pepsi Man quenches thirst, Pokey's just an asshole. You must never show your face around Master Pokey, you got that? And this room is made of pure gold. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Aloysius Minch, Pokey's father, dad. Due to my son's success, <laughs> I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Gwa ha 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 ha
I forget what happens if you go back to Wanette and talk to Picky and Mrs. Mint during this quest line. I feel like I've probably done that before, but no, I don't know either. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. Good, good for you, I didn't ask. All right, department store, right over here. Temporarily closed. Gwarg. Mysterious chime plays. Well, now we've got to head back to the gold mine. Because there ain't much else we can do in Foreside proper. Uh, get out. Dude, get out of the way. I guess I could stay at the hotel. Let's do that. And we can also save our game. It sure is some big city living. Good morning, this is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline! On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Monitoli! Yes, Monitoli is in fact a pun on Monopoly. Good catch. Ten thousand, ten thousand, seven hundred. All right, we got a little bit longer before I call the stream, so let's uh, head to the gold mine. Oh, right. This is like the first place where using the, the condiment glitch is like super useful. You know what? We're not going to cheat. We're going to do it legit. Stop off in the desert. Gold mine, more like mine gold. I mean, that is the idea, yes. Yes, uh, if you get if you get ketchup packets to use with the uh, magic truffle, it'll with the with the glitch, it'll use up the ketchup packets instead of the mushroom. But we're gonna do it legit. We're gonna grab some picnic lunches and just head on down. Let's sell off anything extra in our inventory. I don't remember what the stag beetle does. Don't need skip sandwiches. They're just not useful, particularly. Never found much use for them. Uh, got some refreshing herbs, which we may need. I think we're good here. Now 
we can buy picnic lunches. Which are just super good. Stag beetle's a disposable item that stuns an enemy for a round. I usually just sell it. Yeah, that was... I'm disappointed that it's not useful. Oh well. Let's sell the stag beetle. Alright, save the game. Then we're gonna walk over to the gold mine. Wow, that was quick. Jeff's very fragile. Gaston, baby. Do you want up here? Do you want back up here? Or do you want to go the other way? Just please stop pacing. And the recovery effect of a lucky sand, which is set when you acquire it, not when you use it. I believe that's correct. Go to the gold mine and get on our way to fighting the Manny Penny statue. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Uh, once again, apparently I jumped them, even though they clearly jumped me. Ooh, nasty. Also, yes, these are skeletal scorpions. They mostly just look like regular scorpions, because scorpions have their skeleton on the outside anyway. Healing. And, well... We're losing frames again, and we're in the last 10 minutes. So let's just let this song be how I sign off. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We did just save back at the drugstore, so we'll, we'll call it here and go into the gold mine next week. Not a, not a great internet signal night. Tomorrow will be Christy playing Crypt Worlds. Tuesday will be Andrea continuing with Pyre. Wednesday is Minecraft Community Day, Friends Day Wednesday. Thursday will be Alice continuing her build of uh, her Lego Technic Mac Anthem truck. Friday will be Katie continuing with Chaos on Deponia. Saturday morning, Christy will be playing the good stuff, uh, Magic the Gathering, or doing a thumbnail art stream, perhaps. What? Based, based on my last performance, Magic the Gathering, I can't promise it will be tough. Ah, uh, boo. Just because you lose doesn't mean it's bad stuff. <laughs> uh, and then Sunday we'll be back around to me with more Earthbound, where we'll be entering the gold mine. Hopefully we'll have a better signal that day. Uh, please follow Andemonium, Xenon Fiverr, In the Land of the Rising Sun, and Riz Plays Games. Uh, support them however you can. You, you, Twitch allows a couple of different options for this, so... Most of all, just thank you for being here, and I will see you next week. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>